Bhagavati Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavati Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavati Vasudevaya Om Ajnana Timiranja Sandana Jana Shulakaya Chakshu Romini Tam Yena Tos Mai Shri Guru Vena Hare Krishna So I'm happy to sit and speak a few words from Bhagavad Gita in front of you. Please give me some enabling inspiration to say something more uh, viable for your benefit and for my benefit also. So this class is a continuation. We are taking today's uh, reading from chapter three, uh, text 20, right? Kama Yoga. So the, this look I will take, Kama Naiva, I'm, I'm, I'm not very seeing it here. You see from the hand. Good. Okay. Okay. Come on, Naivai. Some city. Asita. Janak. Jaya. Loka. Sangaham. Eva P. Sam Prithiham. Kantum. As. Arasi. Karamana. By work. Eva. Even. He. Certainly. Sam Sidhim. Imperfection. As it ha situated Janaka diha Janak and others Janak and other kings Lokas and Lokas Sangam The people in general Eva Eva Api also Sampayan, considering Kritum to act as he you deserve. Translation King, such as Janak, attain perfection slowly by performing of prescribed duties. Therefore, just for the sake of educating the people in general, you should perform your work. Shila Prabhupada's purpose. Purpose. King like Janaka, we are all self-realized souls. Consequently, they had no obligations to perform the prescribed duty in the Vedas. Nonetheless, they perform all prescribed activities just to set example for the people in general. Janak was the father of Sat, was the father of Sati, Sh -s sorry, Sita, was the father of Sita and father-in-law of Lord Sri Ram. Being a great devotee of Lord of the Lord, he was transcendentally situated. But because he was the king of Mithila, a subdivision of Bihar, province in India, he had to teach his subjects how to perform prescribed duty. Lord Krishna and Arjun, the Lord's eternal friend, had no need to fight in the battle of Kurukshetra. They fought to teach people in general 
That violence is also necessary in situations where good argument fails. Before the battle of Kurukshetra, every effort was made to avoid the war, even by the supreme personality of Godhead. But the other party was determined to fight. So for such a right cause, there is a necessity for fighting. Although one who is situated in Krishna consciousness may not have any interest in the, in the world, he still works to teach the public how to live and how to act. Experienced persons in Krishna consciousness can act in such a way that others will follow. And this is explained in the following verses. Once again, translation, King such as Janak attain perfection slowly by performance of prescribed duty. Therefore, just for the sake of educating people in general, you should perform your work. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. In the purport, there are so many wonderful points in the purport. I think we will start with uh, Janak Maharaj. Uh, before Janak Maharaj, we can also reflect in one of the seven purposes, Srila Prabhupada have also established this first principle here, you know, to, to, teach, to teach the philosophy systematically, you know, to enlighten people systematically. I think it's the beginning of the seven purposes, the first number of the seven purposes. Here, Janak Maharaj is being referenced. Why is being referenced? After this text, two, three, preview, two, three texts ahead, Krishna will also reference himself. There is no duty for me to perform. But I have to do something. Because if I don't do, the world will be ruined. So here in this text, it's referenced Janak. Why? Janak is an ideal king who we'll just say a few things about his personality. Many of you know, Janak is the father of uh, Ram, Lord Ram Consul, right? So Janak have good association with Ashtavaka. The name Ashtavaka means somebody who is banned in eighth place. Eighth place he's been. He doesn't work properly because he was cursed when he was in the womb. Ashtavaka, when he was still in the room, his father pronounced one of the Upanishad words, sloka, but he didn't pronounce the sloka properly. Ashtavaka in the room said, hmm, it means that your pronunciation was not correct. So the father was angry. <laughs> yeah, you, you, are, you are correcting me, you are still in the womb. What about if you come out? You will do something extraordinary. So he caused him inside the womb. So when Ashtavaka was born, he was born with deformity. Eight steps. He walks like, it's like dancing Kilton. When he's walking, he's dancing Kilton. <laughs> So one time, Janak Maharaj was with him. There are so many stories that has connection with Ashtavaka and Janak Maharaj. Very fantastic stories. But I will just highlight this, then give some few points in the purport. There are so many things to say in the purport. So there was this wonderful association that was going on between Janak Maharaj and Ashtavaka. So Ashtavaka disciples, they become jealous. 
Because they thought Janak Marad is a king. If we remember Chaitanya Taritamrita, we see that Chintana Mahaprabhu never went to meet Patiparudra, right? Right? Patiparudra, the great king. Because king is more like somebody who is into the affair of the world. So the brahmachari who were under Ashtavaka, they were not very happy. So there was some gossiping. Uh, what is going on? What is happening with our guru day? Is this still our guru or something is happening? You know, this mentality. So Ashtavaka understand this from his disciple. So he makes some arrangements through his mystical power somehow. So one time, Ashtavaka was giving Harikata. All the disciples was there. Janak Maharaj was also, the, was also there, listening to the kata. All of a sudden, Janak Maharaj, Etoraj, all his servants, they just pump in. Hey Maharaj, hey Maharaj, your kingdom is burning. Your kingdom is burning. So many things are happening in your kingdom. So many, many things are happening. People, so Janak Maharaj flare up. He said, why do you come here to disturb me when I'm here in Harikata? <laughs> so he chased them out. So the following day, Ashtavaka again was reciting Kata. And the hall was also full with his brahmachari disciples. And a servant come, ashram servant come to inform in the hall that Oh, the monkeys, they are playing with all your coupons and all your clothes. The brahmachari automatically run out of the class. <laughs> so, Ashtavaka said, after they have all run out, they came in. He said, have you all seen the difference now? He said, a few days ago, Information come that Janak Maharaj kingdom was in flame. But he didn't move an inch. Instead, he drove out all his entourage who have come to give him information. But just pieces of clothes that is on top of the line and the mockings are playing with it, then you have run out of the class. Who is more renounced? Who is more renounced? Is it you, the, the monks, or the king? So this is one quality of Janak Maharaj. Apart from this renunciation, he has as one of his quality. Janak Maharaj is one of the 12 Mahagya. Yamaraj has said to the Yamadutas, he said, among, we have about 12 who knows the essence of religious principles. There are 12. And Janak Maharaj is one of them, who are Mahajans of religious principles. Here, he's being referenced. So Krishna is giving this. Why? He has added. Not for his own interest, but for the interest of Krishna. And he got Paramgitin, the essence of life. In the purport, Srila Prabhupada has enumerated so many wonderful things that it will take our attention. I will just I will go through the purport again for us to see. Can somebody put that phone in silence or something? In the proper the proper mention that when argument fails, then violence has to take place. So here, proper is talking about Krishna is encouraging violence. Is it directly Krishna encouraging violence? No. Krishna has one time 
arranged a peace settling formula to meet with Diudan and his family. To resolve the issue of fighting. Instead of Diodan consulting, you know, consenting to Krishna's plan for the peace formula, but Diodan was completely inimical against the injunction of Krishna. Instead, he was even planning to tie Krishna. And this was a big apparada, and Krishna had to leave. So what it means here, proper side the example, when argument fail, then violence have to take place. But that violence should not be for our interest. It should be for interest of Krishna. This is the aspect we are looking at here. Acting for Krishna, not for our interest. This is the message Krishna is telling Arjuna. There, is, there are a few things we can still alight. In Canto 3 of Shima Bhagavatam, Vidura have asked, have have material rishi? He said, although I have lived in this world for long, and I have also lived with the good people. I have lived with the bad people. I live with the good people. I live with the bad people. There is one concern in these two people. What is the concern? They all have action. And that action is for happiness. But the happiness they never get. This was the one purpose in between these two peoples. They all have action. What is that action? Their action is, I want to be happy. But that action, no matter how they execute it, it never brings happiness to them. It's always opposite. This was Vidura's question to Matiri Rishi. So Vidura have asked, is there, is, there no, is there no way that we can act without getting the opposite reaction? A material rishi have given him several explanations to this. And those explanations we are going to share with you. They are all part of what we are doing. Every day we practice these things here in East Vrindavan. But how often do we take cognizance, awareness of them? That is the areas of these subjects we are looking at. Are we acting for ourselves or we are acting for Krishna? <laughs> because that is the, the whole essence of this Kama Yoga. Act for Krishna, not for yourself. <clears throat> so before I draw what Material Rishi have, have explained as a kind of antidote that will save man from this action. If we look at ourselves, if we look, in other words, how does this text in particular apply to us? Because if we are reading scriptures, we also be analyzing it, how it applies to me. Not just reading it from reading, how it applies to us, how it applies to us. If we do so many work in the temple, outside the temple, no matter how heavy, small it is, if the intent, the intention of that work or that prescribed duty, or that action, is not for Krishna. It's not for Krishna. It will bring the opposite result. I have seen in my life, practical experience I have seen. People do small things, 
they get big results. Meanwhile, people have been doing a lot of things. But the result is opposite. Why? Sometimes the devotee walk outside. The kami also walk outside. Are they not the same thing? Because the non-devotee is going to take his monthly pay. The devotee is going to take his monthly pay. So what is the difference? Any difference? Good. Thank you. The intention is for Krishna. But the non-devotee is for myself. So the same thing applies. It's not a question, I'm doing this service, I'm doing that service, I'm doing the other service. If the intention, what is the intention is not to please Krishna, oftentimes we get the opposite results. This is always the situation. And such action cannot bring happiness to us. It cannot. We may get, you know, a kind of a sensation of happiness. But a little change will become upset. Because that action is not really to please Krishna. It's either to please our ego, to please people around us. You can name it. But the action that is actually for Krishna, little we do, we feel the bliss. We get so much reciprocation. So such action is what Krishna is expecting Arjuna to execute. This is the whole essence of this text. Execute your action, not for your pleasure, but for for my pleasure. And not away from the Navida Bhakti, the nine processes of Bhakti. We cannot execute proper action without hearing. There must be hearing. There must be chanting. There must be remembering. In this way, our actions can be free from contamination of our intention. Because the whole, in, the whole essence here is that we should act for the pleasure of Krishna. When Vidura has asked Matriya Rishi this question, what was Matriya Rishi's response? His response was, He said, hold. He said, a man's, a man's ears would just be whole in his head if he does not, if he does not use them to drink the nectarian praises of the Lord. He said, a man's Ears, it will just be like whole if they are not using that ears to drink. We all know that we can only drink from here, but we can also drink from here also. <laughs> the drinking from here is more spiritual, it's more even uh, enhancing because we hear Krishna past time from here, and that which we hear from here, he go down. So, material Rishi is saying, the ear will just be like hole on the head if it does not drink the katamrit, the pastime of the Lord. Then he gave another several things he has said, but I will just take a few, then wrap, up, wrap it up with something. He said the tongue, the tongue, if the tongue does not chant, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare. He said, if the tongue does not chant, 
the lost name. It is only like the tongue of a toad. In Nenta of Instruction, Shila Prabhupada have said, when the, when the toad crow, what is his intention? He's inviting the snake, come and take me, come and take me, come and enjoy me. So if we does not use this tongue to glorify the Lord, and this tongue become used for the opposite, we are only inviting snake, snake of time. Come and take advantage of me. This is second answer material Rishi is giving. Then he gave the head. The head. He said the head does not fall. That does not pay obeisances to the Lord. He said that head. He said the head is just like the head of He said the head is just like a bonding, burden. You know, burdens, worries. It's just like a worry. Somebody, you see, there is an artist having a kind of a world map on his head. So, material Rishi is saying that this head is just like that, having big map kind of universe on your head, burden. So he talks about the hand. He said the hand. The hand that this hand, if he does not worship the Lord, the hand is just like cops, a diseased hand, a hand that does not function. We know there are many ways these hands can function. These hands can chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram. There are many functions this hand can do for us. Many things. He said, the eyes which do not drink the beauty of the Lord. He said, that eyes is like a punch. A punch means, you see, the feather of the peacock, those colors. He said, the eyes is only like those colors. It has no good use. He draw it down. He said, unfortunate, unfortunate is that man who does not take the dust of the sadhu and put in his head? Material Rishi has given these principles for Vidura. What was Vidura's question? People ask to get happiness, but oftentimes the opposite they get. Why do they get the opposite? The intention is not often to please the Lord. The intention is I and mine. So if we want to please the Lord with the right intention, Matiria Rishi has given us the antidotes, has given us these principles. Let's use our eyes properly, our ears properly, our tongue properly, and hand properly, then this with this, we can have the right consciousness, you know, the right motive, the right understanding that this is for the Lord, not for me. A final word may be there. Although one who is situated in Krishna consciousness may not have interest in the world, he still works to teach the public how to live and how to act. Srila Prabhupada exemplified this, right? <laughs> Srila Prabhupada teach, we heard from his Lila, he teach in you know, most of his disciples, how to dress, how to eat, how to do so many things. Many things. Even how to tie sari. 
engage, a sannyasin engaging couples in family life, doing, you know, arranging wedding. He did so many things. Why? To encourage people, to enhance people to see what is right for their own interest. So, in a final note, it's not how where, it's not how much, it's not how great, but the intention, that is what the Lord is looking for. The Lord is not looking for so much you have today, so much you have done today. No, he's looking for that intention in what you have done. Just like the common uh, sloka, with love and devotion, whatever you render to the Lord, it accepts. So the Lord is looking for your intention. Is the intention for me or just a superficial thing? Hare Krishna. So, question. <laughs> we have some time, right? We have four, ten minutes. Question. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Yeah. So you talked about the right intention for any work. But we all know that we are entangled by the material nature, three modes of material nature, where the I and me is there always, me and mine. So how to convert that from center which we are having, self-centered, to the Krishna center? So how can? Very simple. Krishna says in the last chapter of Bhagavad Gita, surrender, surrender. What do you surrender? You have a BMW car? BMW, you have that car? But you have. <laughs> you have, but you don't know you have. <laughs> what, Krishna, <laughs> what Krishna requests you, BMW, your body, your words, and your mind. Give it to me. That is surrender. It don't say give him or no, just give him this your BMW. Don't cry. You will be happy. Everything you do, Krishna will accept. Give him your BMW. Don't cry, don't lament. You will be happy. So during the course of surrender, the intelligence comes in between. Which Ready? intelligence? Mm. Which says that no, you can do it. Why should surrender in front of Krishna? So how to tackle that intelligence? It's still very easy. Just like if your child now cry for something that is harmful, he wants to use to play. That is his intelligence, right? He wants some harmful thing to play. Your intelligence is a little mature, or, or is mature. You won't accept. Because you know if you give him that privilege, <laughs> after some few minutes you will hear his crying. He has used that thing to enjoy himself. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this intelligence we need, we all have also. <laughs> so, <laughs> we just, just give Krishna your BMW. You don't think about intelligence. You will be happy. <laughs> Thank you, Prabhupada. <laughs> Bhakti Vidami, Bhakti Bible student is here. Give him the mic. <laughs> he wants to say something. Okay, somebody else. Any more questions, Prabhu? Prabhuji has some questions. <laughs> uh, yes, Prabhu. Mm, I mean to say ki, uh, how to uh, uh, improved our relation with the Supreme Personality of Godhead actually. Say that again, sir. How to improve? How to improve our relation with Supreme Personality of Godhead Krishna actually? Yeah. Very nice. Yes. A nice question. That is what Machiri Rishi has given. We should often use our eyes to drink the beauty. Radha Shama Sunda is there, Krishna Balaran is there, Gonita is there then we should use our tongue to vibrate its name often. 
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Apart from that, we have so many wonderful sannyas here in this temple. Jananda Goswami is here, Prabhu Dananda. Sometimes, time to time, we should, we should try to see that we render some service to these people. Get your blessing. You automatically, you get the connection of the Lord. Very simple. You don't need to go to Himalaya. <laughs> so the whole essence is here. Shila Prabhupada put them here. You just have to have the right consciousness. You take them and be happy. Understand it. Simple understanding. I've been here for more than 10 years now. I don't go anywhere now. <laughs> I'm here. You see? So, it's simple understanding. <laughs> Thank you. Hare Krishna. <laughs> yeah, Prabhuji has a question. <laughs> Someone might think that uh, Janak Maharaj, who was in the class of Ash Ashtavakar, you know, yeah. uh, that when he heard that the Excuse part me. of his kingdom was on fire, yeah. and he said, don't bother me, mm. as being ir irresponsible, not renounced, mm. <laughs> because he is the king, he has to take action. Very nice. Is it somebody, is raising a philosophical question, is it somebody may raise a philosophical question, that that kind of art of Janat Maharaj is irresponsible. Yes, it's irresponsible. But in true sense, what do we bring in that we want to take out? Is there anything we bring to this world that we want to take out? Do we bring money into this world that we want to take home back? Do we bring kingdom into this world that we want to take back? What do we bring in when we come out from this womb, we say we have come with this thing that if I'm going back, I want to take back. <laughs> no. Only Krishna, Krishna Kata. That is only what we can take back. So those who have intelligence, they take advantage of this. Very simple. Very simple. What is his name? Alexandra has exemplified this philosophical thought for us. Alexandra the Great has conquered a lot of provinces, a lot of country. So at one point, he become E. Then he knows that I was not going to survive. Then he called one of his general. He said, I have three witches. Will you be able to execute these witches for me? If you will, my life will be successful. The general said, you are a model. You are ideal leader for us. Whatever wish you have, we will execute it. Alexandra said, thank you, Daniel Bhatt. He said, my first wish, I want the best physician. Physician, doctor, to carry my corpse. My dead body should carry in his head. In my corpse, I want my hand to be thrown out like this. And all the wealth I have accumulated, all I have taken from different areas I have conquered in the world, I want them to be spread. Just like when we throw petals or flowers, you know? You know petals, you throw. I want them to be thrown here and there. So when he announced this three wish, the general was a little bit confused. What kind of wish is this? So they could not understand the purpose of the wish. 
So they kindly asked the king, Alexander, please, what is the essence? What is the meaning of this three wish? He said, first, I want the world to know in the face of death, a physician cannot save you. No physician, no doctor can save you in the face of death. My hand is thrown out of my casket. I want the world to see. I come here with empty hand. I'm also living with empty hand. <laughs> so I want the world to see that all the weight I have acquired, they are all left behind. This were the purpose of his three wish. We have prescribed duties. Srila Prabhupada gave us prescribed duties. Our prescribed duty is that we should attain the money program. We follow the four regulated principles and we chant 16 rounds. Prescribed duty means something you cannot compromise. If you compromise it, that becomes your interest, not the law's interest. Any more questions? Any more questions? Any more questions? I think there's still some time. Please go give your comment, Prabhu. Uh, thank you, Prabhu, for your beautiful class. So I can tell that we are doing sadhana bhakti, we are doing bhajan, whatever we are doing, but we should learn how to die. At the end of our time, we should remember Krishna. Just a few days ago, one family came from Italy and for treatment purpose. And 20, uh, 20 years before, they took uh, Radha Krishna deity. And they served Radha Krishna deity and they gave name Radha Govinda. After 20 years, they brought the deity in Vrindavan and they were taking uh, treatment. After Nishinga Chodudashi day, when Radha Raman appearance day, all this she was doing fine in the evening during uh, sunset time. Suddenly she left her body. She had desired to leave her body in Vrindavan, but she does not know this is her last time in Vrindavan. So if some devotee have some desire, Krishna will fulfill their desire. So she left her body in Vindavan Dham during auspicious Tithi, Nakshatra and Day, Uttarayan time. Bhishmadev also where she, he was waiting for Uttarayan. So if we have desire, we have, uh, if we 100% surrender in Krishna's lotus feet, then Krishna will fulfill our desire. Just we have to focus in our devotion. We have to follow the parampara. That's it. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Yeah. Uh, Final comment also. The hope, okay, he has one, he has one question at the back. One devotee asked that when we try to surrender the Lord, intelligence comes between. In, in tenth chapter, slok number seven, the Lord has said, who chants my name with great love, I give him buddhi yoga. And the meaning of buddhi yoga has been written by Prabhupada, real intelligence. The real intelligence will come and the, this intelligence will go and we will be complete surrendered. Thank you for that comment. Yeah, the final note here. The whole process of sadhana bhakti is up prepare like prepare us to live and to die. Don't think something else. The whole process of devotional service it prepare you how to live in the present and how to die in the future. Hare Krishna.